Hey guys, welcome to Tips Express. This is another edition of Tips Express for my channel. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. This is actually um, a different kind of Tips Express today. Um, and uh, let's get into it. Alright, so today is going to be a, almost like a hybrid between the Weapon Comparison series and um, Tips Express. And um, I wanted to make this video because the Peacekeeper is fairly new. And, you know, people want to know about the Peacekeeper. They want to know what to do, what what's good about it, and what's bad about it, and stuff like that. I know there's a lot of these type of videos on the internet. However, I wanted to make mine ever so slightly different. So, uh, let's get into this. Alright, so the Peacekeeper actually has 720 rounds per minute, which is the same as the MSMC, 33 damage per bullet, which is the same as the MP7, and it has, it has the longest range of any SMG, and I think it's getting like mid um, assault rifle in terms of the range, which is pretty scary, because it's an SMG, and people always use it like an SMG, they're very, uh, you know, they, they look at it and they're like, ah, you know, this looks like um, a very mobile, very easy to use, powerful weapon, because it shoots slow let's run around and try and run and gun with it and they're using it wrong because when this game first come out oh well, when this gun first come out shall we say um i honestly hated the gun that's it i really hated the gun i felt almost like um the weapons too it's too much of an assault rifle to be an SMG. I was using it like an SMG, which didn't work in any way, shape, or form. And then I learned. Then I learned how to use this thing. And when you use it, it's really, really decent. It's not a terrible weapon after all. And uh, if you can max out all of its perks and max out everything that it can do, you will do a lot better than um, a lot of other people in the lobby because you know how to use it. Uh, so let's get into the perks of the weapon. Um, so again, it has quite long range. I'm not 100% on the numbers. However, it actually has, I'd say, around the similar sort of range as the... Um the MTAR, so around like 100 meters, I'd say, for a full quick kill. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on it. Um, but it's fairly good. Now, when I show you my class setup, you're going to be slightly surprised. Alright, so here it is. Um, I use a silencer and quick draw. That's an interesting setup, isn't it? Um, I when I found this, um, when I started using silencer or, or suppressor, whatever you like to call it, um, I found that I, I I avoided gunfights. I didn't die as often, and I could work up my kill streaks a little bit more. And uh, because it reduces muzzle muzzle flash, if you don't know what that is, when you shoot your gun, you see like a little um, spark at the end of it, which is muzzle flash. Um, because it reduces muzzle flash, uh, flash um, you'd actually end up seeing um, more of the enemy, winning more of your gunfights because this weapon, you know, is more suited to the um, accurate player. And, um, you know, when I started using it with this setup, I started getting some okay games. And I'm showing you some gameplay of them now. And um, I also like to use the... Um, the the uh, the stock on it, even though the stock's you know not that great. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it for the class setup. Now in terms of the playstyle, I'm gonna encourage you to play a little bit more with your brain cells, um, as opposed to running out there and winning gunfights all the time because you can't do it with this gun. If you want to get good games, if you want to play well with it, you have to make sure that you you know be that um, aggressive camping playstyle. And when people hear camping and aggressive in the same sentence, they always seem to think that I'm going to be sitting in the corner and, and doing my thing. No, no, no. Aggressive camping is when you move from cover to cover, make sure you do not die, and um, you win a lot of gunfights in that way. And in doing so, you'll be doing quite well with this weapon, especially as, you know, you'll be hidden from the radar, and you'll be winning a little bit more gunfights. You probably won't be um, being caught by surprise as often um, as the enemy will probably be caught by surprise um, because they won't know where you are at so uh, that's pretty much it guys if you did enjoy the video please click like that was a very um, quick little weapon breakdown from me and uh, see you guys bye